What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 20 minute standing stretch. So grab a spot on your floor and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited to have you here today and so excited to jump in this standing stretch with you. This will be great if you are an essential worker, a medical worker, anyone who's standing for a long period of time, grocery store, clerk or manager, etc. So if you're standing for long periods of time in the day or on the opposite end, if you're bending for a lot of your work, this will also help as well, okay? So just find some space on your floor. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel before you head out today. We've got a great week of workouts coming up and I'd love to see you incorporate this stretch into the week at least three times, okay? So let's start with a nice wide stance. We're gonna turn our toes out about 45 degrees, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do is lean to one side and bring that arch up on our feet, okay? Let's go to the right in three, two, one. Here we go. Bend the arch up and keep your weight centered in between your two feet. I just want you to kind of rock back and forth between this. Been wearing high heels or you've just been on your feet a lot. A lot of times our feet are just crammed into shoes, right? So let's try and stretch out the arches a little bit. If that feels good to you, you can shift weight over into that stretch, but stay centered first. Then if it feels good, progress from there. Good, all right, last one on each side. Hold for four, three, two, one. Switch sides, four, three, two, one and good. We're gonna turn over to our right toe, okay? Place the left toe or left heel down on the ground and I want you to bend forward, just slightly stretching the back calf, okay? Look forward and whatever you need to do to kind of get your weight away from this back heel, let's go there. Okay, good, let's swing it over to the left. Do the same thing. Keep your heel down, lean away from it, or bend away from it. And what you want to feel is a stretch all the way from your heel, basically up to at least your knee. If you're tight in the hamstrings, you might feel it a little bit higher. Great job. Come back up, we're going to go over to the right again. This time I want you to put your heel down and bend your back knee. Okay, this will get a little bit more into the bottom part of your calf or your soleus. Even down into your Achilles, if your Achilles is tight like mine. Good, switch it back over to the left. Keep it down and bend. Good job. It's great to start from the bottom and just work your way up so you can make sure you're addressing everything on the way up. So our bodies are all connected. Every muscle, every joint works off of each other. Okay, let's swing it back over to the right and we're gonna move up just a tiny bit up to the hamstrings. So keeping that back foot back, I want you to bend down, okay? There we go, you feel this in the front hamstring a little bit more than the back, but keep both feet flat. So even if you're here in your stretch, that's fine, hips are straight, back is flat. Good, let's turn it over again. Bend forward. Good, and if you can go down lower than your knee, it's okay to bend your back a little bit. There you go, good. Let's swing it back over one more time, okay? Bring your back foot in just a little bit closer. And last round over here on this foot. There we go, four, little deeper, three, two, one, and just walk it right on over to the other side. Last little bit of stretching here for this hamstring stretch. Great job, a little lower for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly roll that back up, good. All right, come back to the middle with me. We're gonna take it side to side, so moving from the hamstrings up into the hips a little bit, okay? Put your hands on your hip, even right at the top of your thigh, 
push out to the side. And you want to feel it from here all the way down. Good, come back up in the middle and let's switch sides. Keep your hips nice and flat, so make sure you're not bending forward. Think about your belly button and your chest being open to the front. Use this hand to push. There you go. Good, I love this stretch. And we'll swing it back over again to the other side. There you go, this time if you can, release your hand, reach over, arch it down, but just maintain that side stretch, that hip stretch. Good, back up top, let's switch it over. Get the stretch here first, open hips, open chest, then add that little extra pull up top. Three, two, one, and good. Now we're gonna come in, taking your left foot, swing it behind your right leg, okay? And I want you to do the same thing and then go down to the inside of that foot. So you're pushing your hip out to the side. Okay, left hip goes out to the left side. I want you to feel this again in your hip, but even down into the side of your leg. Good, come back up, same thing. Swing your right foot behind your left leg. Push the hip out to the right. There you go, and you can kind of play with this one. You can kind of adjust. Do you feel it better with your chest up, with your chest rounded, and looking over to the side? So wherever you feel it best, go there. We've got one more round of each side. Good. Let's come up and switch again. Okay, so back foot. Shove the hip away. Go over towards the back foot. Great job. There you go, four, three, two, one, and come back up and let's switch it. Right foot behind left, and last round of this one, okay? Get your balance. Good work. We'll do a little bit more for the hips moving up into our next stretch. I feel like I could stay here all day. Whew. Three, two, one. All right, great job. So what you do, let's move to our quads first and then we'll move into the hips. Okay, grab onto your heel, pull it right up to your foot. If you need a little help with this, grab onto something for balance or you can bend and kind of stand and pull, okay? So just take your heel right to your glute. A couple things to think about. Hips are straight. Pull your heel as high as you can. You don't want to get out here too much. Be wobbling out to the side. Keep it mostly straight here so you can push your hip forward and pull your heel high. Find a spot on the floor or on the wall or on the TV or your phone, or your tablet, and just stare at it. And good, let's switch it over. That'll help you keep your balance. There you go, focus on that one spot. Pull nice and high, and if you can, you can use both hands. Good, working on our balance this month, so maybe this is one of those exercises where you're like, okay, my balance is improving a little bit. And it always does help if you just kind of focus on one thing and just stare at it while you're doing the stretch. Good, slowly release one more time on each leg, okay? Pull, pull, pull. That's it, and as things loosen up, if it moves out to the side just a little bit, that's okay. Okay, we just make sure your hips are forward. You're pulling nice and high. Three, two, one. Let's switch one more time. Great job. Go over here from the side, so I'm grabbing with both hands. There 
we go. Pull high for four, three, two, one, and good. Go ahead and release that foot. Step it out just a little bit wider. Hands on your tailbone. I want you to take a big deep breath in first. As you exhale, gently push forward. Good job. Come back up to the top. Same thing, big deep breath in. Exhale. Hold here for five, four, three. Come right back up. Good, let's go two more times. If you want to adjust your feet a little bit, you can. Okay, and here we go. Good. Just opening up the hips right here in front and come back up top one more. Big deep breath in. Exhale, push. Three, two, one. Great job. All right, feeling good so far? Okay, we're gonna move up a little bit to the external obliques, chest, shoulders, etc. Okay, we're moving into the second half of the stretch. All right, so I want you to take your arm up tall, nice and tall. Don't move your hips. Just think of arching up, reaching over just a little bit. Okay, I want you to feel a stretch right here. Think about creating space between, between your ribs. Good, and I want you to take this hand, sweep it across, open up to the other side. Good, hips stay in the middle. You're tall, you're creating space here, and there's a slight arch over top. Two, one, swing it over and switch. Good, now on this swing, I want you to stop in the arch here, okay? So let's arch it over. I'm not straight out to the side. I'm in between side and middle at about 45 degrees, pushing this hip furthest from my hand back and away. Good, now swing it over and go back to the other side. Start first up tall. Create space here. Good stretch in the hips and the obliques and the ribs. Good, now let's take that 45 degree angle, arch over, reach, 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 reach. And you wanna push this hip away. So you wanna think of low back. Three, two, one, good. Bring it right in the middle and I want you to grab your elbows, let your head drop. And kind of force your shoulder or your elbows down to the ground to pull your shoulder blades away from your spine. Good, come on back up. We'll go there one more time. If you're tight in your upper back, this is a great one. Okay, go ahead and bend forward just a little bit and now push your elbows down to the ground. And just think of your shoulder blades sliding away from the middle of your back. You can use your hands to kind of push your elbows down towards the floor. Good, come back up. I want you to take your hands behind your glutes, link your fingers together, and then just open your chest up, forcing your shoulders back. Lift your chin. Good, come back to the middle. Think about driving your hands down. So if you have them here, go ahead and open it up. Pull your shoulder blades back. Good, come back one more time. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so shoulder blades pull back, lift the chin, drive the hands down. Good, come back up to standing. You're gonna take this left arm over across your body, thumb faces the ceiling, chest is straight, and really pull. Great job, you wanna feel this in the back part of your shoulder. There you 
go. Pull, pull, pull. Keep your chest straight. I'm gonna spend some time here. I know we did some work on our shoulders this week. Good, if you can start to feel any warmth in that area, that's great. The blood flow is happening. That's how the recovery starts happening. You get the nutrients to those muscles via your blood. So if you feel some blood flow, that's great. Good, take that same arm up over top, bend it, grab onto your elbow. A lot of times you'll hear people say, just get your blood moving, just get some blood pumping, right? That's from a scientific standpoint, the delivery of nutrients to your muscles so that they can start healing. That's why you don't have to have a rest day where you never move, but you do have to have a rest day where your body gets a chance to get the nutrients it needs while resting, while not pushing heavy dumbbells or jumping in the air doing tuck jumps to deliver what your muscles need to get stronger. Okay, bring that down and let's switch arms. Do the same thing, bring it right across your chest. Keep your chest straight. Right thumb is in the air. Good, this one always looks a little bit weird for me because I'm trying not to smash my mic, but you wanna pull as much as you can across your chest. Stretching is all about creating angles. So the angle here is right here, okay, the kind of pivot point of every angle is where you feel the stretch. So for instance, you wanna stretch your glutes, you create this angle, that point is where you feel the stretch. So if you ever have any tight areas, think of creating an angle and the point of the angle at the very tip is where you feel the stretch. Okay, take that arm up top, bend it, pull it over. Good, and you can use your thumb here to kind of press into your forearm to get it closer to your upper arm. Good job, feeling the triceps here. Great work. Love that stretch. All right, let's go one more time. I'm gonna count you down from 10. I want you to try to increase the stretch from 10. Nine, eight, pull seven, pull six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing over top. 10, nine, push, eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Back to the other shoulder, pull hard for 10. Nine, eight, come on, seven, pull, five, four, three, two, one, good. Up over top, 10, nine, push, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one, release. Amazing job. We're gonna take it down to the forearms now, okay? So I want you to take right forearm or right arm Flip your fingers over to where your palm faces forward. Grab your fingers and then bend that elbow a little bit. We're creating the stretch here in the forearm muscles. Great job. I'm definitely feeling blood flow because I can feel my body warming up, right? This is good, this is great. This is what our bodies need. Good, flip it over to the other hand, same thing. Grab the fingers, pull back. If you need a little more, bend the elbow. We create that angle. Great job. One more time. We're going for 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch it over. 10, 9, 7. Five, four, three, two, amazing job. We're gonna end up right up top here with the traps. So I want you to grab your hands together, push them down, relax your shoulders, and lean away. Good, we're thinking right ear to the right shoulder. Good, drop your chin to your chest, roll right to the other side. Nice and slow, same thing. Pull down, shoulder is depressed, meaning you're not 
shrugging it up, ear to shoulder on the opposite side. Good, release your hands, put palms facing the floor, same thing. Push down on this opposite side. So left hand pushes to the floor, right ear goes to right shoulder. If you wanna add a little extra pressure, right here you can. Not too much, just breathe. And same thing on the other side, you're gonna roll it over, push this right hand down to the floor, drop ear to shoulder. Really push it, don't just have it hanging out here. Reach, reach, reach. If you can afford that extra pressure, go ahead. Great job, and one last five second stretch up. Open your chest. And relax, you have made it. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope this helped your body in any way possible. If you're standing a lot, if you're sitting a lot, we as humans are just in a lot of positions that are constant. So standing, bending, sitting, etc. I just want you to feel able to move and able to move through exercises, able to function in a way that feels good for you. Your body is designed to move and it's designed to move without pain and stiffness and achiness. So we keep moving. That's how we keep our bodies healthy, strong, and being able to work out in the most effective way, okay? So I'm very proud of you. Keep using this stretch today, the next day, the next day, until we get a new stretch. It's going to only help your body. And make sure you share this with your friends as well because we all need to move just a little bit more, okay? Make sure before you head out today, you have clicked thumbs up if you finished the stretch. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye guys.